over in that building where the Texas Rangers are housed, Pudge Rodriguez is among the former Rangers who is a key advisor, uh, not only to John Daniels, not only down on the field with players, catchers, but all the way up to ownership. Now advance here in Arlington to that building. And as we've discussed many times, Jerry Jones has big ears when it comes to taking advice from former players. Certainly a number of former players have carte blanche when it comes to showing up to practice and pitching in, as we'll soon see at training camp in Oxnard. It's very fitting, therefore, that Dirk Davitsky would finally come aboard with the Dallas Mavericks in an official capacity. We broke the story uh, shortly after his retirement that Mark Cuban would be interested and Dirk would be interested in having a piece of ownership with the Dallas Mavericks. That can still come, but right now this is a franchise in crisis. The general manager, Donnie Nelson, gone. The head coach, Rick Carlisle, gone. Both of them, quite likely future basketball Hall of Famers, no longer with the Mavericks. In Donnie's case, of course, 24 years invested here. Rick Carlisle, 13 years invested here uh, for a number of reasons, some of which are behind the scenes, uh, some of which have leaked out brand new management for the Dallas Mavericks. No, Dirk Nowitzki is not going to put on the general manager hat. No, he's not going to become the head coach. He will be an advisor to Mark Cuban in the search to fill those positions. And uh, what he said upon the announcement of that is, I, I love the Mavericks. I'll do anything to help my Mavericks. I'll do anything to help Mark Cuban. And right now, just like the Rangers and Pudge, just like Jerry and old Cowboys, Dirk Nowitzki helping Mark Cuban, perfect in so many ways, including most of all, boy, can they use it. Fish in Arlington, out.